bud. You're just in time. I was showing my special one-of-a-kind space ball to the others. I rule a pretty good game of space ball too, you know. <laughs> so do I. It would be great to see which one of us is the best. Oh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We need to find a place where we can see which one of us rolls the best game of space ball. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> the Halloween planet. That would be okay if we wanted to roll pumpkins, but not space balls. <gasps> the bouncy ball planet. But we don't want to bounce balls. We want to roll them. Mm -mm. Now that looks like just the place. Yes, the space ball planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Baseball planet. to make trouble. You should go play in the ballroom with the little kids. Well, I say we can roll more than you. Wanna bet? Sure. <gasps> what are you getting us into, Orbit? How is he gonna beat us? He may have a big mouth, but that robot doesn't have any arms. <laughs> Orbit's right. We can't lose. Okay. The team that rolls the most strikes wins. But if you don't beat me, you have to give me that spiffy-looking space ball. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> deal! <laughs> we can still do this, right, team? Right! Right! I've never played space ball before. Huh? Don't worry. It's all about throwing angles in ball speed and spin factors. I'm really good at math. I'm sure I can figure it out. I'm calling a practice round. <laughs> Not that I need it, but just to show you what you're up against. Ah! <laughs> practice all you want. It's not gonna make a difference. Don't listen to him. Give it a try. Wait a minute. You'll never knock the pins down that way. Try it like this. But that looks like an excellent throwing angle, Emma. Thanks. This 
this is gonna be easier than I thought. I still need to figure out the ball speed and the spin factor. Okay, TK, maybe try it this way. <laughs> okay, here goes with Emma's throwing angle and your ball speed. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I get it! Your plan <laughs> is to make me laugh so hard I won't be able to <laughs> roll a ball straight! <laughs> Try it not so fancy, TK. Nice and easy, like this. Now I see how the spin factor makes it all work. It's game time. Say goodbye to your special ball. We can do this, right team? Right. Right! <laughs> throwing angle, orbit's ball speed, and Rob's spin factor. Just remember what we showed you. I can't do it your way. I have to try it my way. Go for it, TK. We're cheering for you. Right, gang? Right! <laughs> Just try to ignore the honky. stuck together, we didn't lose. Whatever. Say goodbye to your special ball, buddy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no! Sorry I said what I did and tried to cheat. You're all good space ballers. Especially you, Little Red. You earned this. <gasps> My very own space ball. Thanks. <laughs> I'd say it's mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well, we went to the space.
baseball planet to see who was the best player. Only we met a bull bot who bet we couldn't beat him. TK had never played before, so we tried to show her. Even though she wasn't doing very well, she believed she could do it. And thanks to her, we had learned that we should always trust others to do their best. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Rocket Riders, choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow, look at that one. Ready? Buckle your seatbelts. It's okay. 
Okay, Emma, we'll catch them in this. I checked them all, and I'm sure this is the fastest. that can help. Oh, my toy plane. Not really what we need right now, though. Oh, that's a nice hat, but I don't think it's what we need. A coin. This might work. Awesome! Orbit. We have tons of power to finish the race. Besides, can't stop now. We're winning! <laughs> Left, right, or straight? Which way do we go? Buckle up again! You can't go off the track. That's cheating. No, it isn't. Besides, Rob's not playing fair either. Just because he's not playing fair doesn't mean we have to cheat too. We have a better racer. We can win. But this is faster. The arrow pointing left looks like it goes to the mountains. The arrow pointing straight looks like it's going towards the water. Is that where we need to go? Checkered flags are used at the end of a race. That's it! The end of the race! We follow the sign that points to the right. Seatbelts on, here we go! This is great! We'll win for sure!
really sorry. No, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Hey, we're really sorry, guys. We forgot what the real spirit of racing is about. It's about doing your best. And supporting your friends. Not leaving them behind. Way to go, Squeak. You're a great racer. You played by the rules. And you know what happened? You won. We got to bring our pods back to the starting line. It's a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who was the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. that you shouldn't forget about your friends. And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. Yes, the puzzle planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. For an end to 
your troubles, just solve three puzzles. But if you cannot, one returns to this spot. Now step through the door for puzzles galore. So if we solve three puzzles, we'll find the missing puzzle piece. But hmm, there's nothing on the other side of the door. Hmm. Ooh. Whoa! Cool. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's all up to 
orbit. <sighs> I guess it's all up to me. Red, yellow, red, green, blue. Uh, here it goes. Red, yellow, red, green. Rob, you're back. What did you learn in the middle? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the Puzzle Piece Prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, Feeling well. Mm. I think I must have come down with. Uh, 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 ah, 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 Sorry, everyone. Maybe you picked up a space virus. TK, you should sneeze into your arm. You'll make Orbit sick sneezing on him like that. <sighs> I, I, ah! Uh, Excuse me. Yicky. Yicky is right. We need to get you some help. We sure do. And that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We think TK might have caught a space virus. We need to get her some help. Ah, oh, dear. Poor TK. We'll find you some help right away. Ooh, sports planet. Playing sports is fun, but not so much fun when you're feeling sick. Magic planet! Magic tricks may cheer TK up, but I think she needs more than that to make her feel better. <laughs> Fix it planet! That's it! That's where robots go when they're sick. The perfect place. Now get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
Next stop, the Fix-It Planet. TK, I think the Fix-It Clinic is this way. Nice it's here, Wow. Huh? Ooh. Huh? Uh, don't you mean, Wow, it's nice here? Orbit, are you feeling okay? Emma, you got us here. What? <laughs> Take us apart? Don't be silly. The doctor will help fix you and make you feel better. That's what doctors do. What is the problem and how can I help? Oh dear, your skin has turned green. Huh? No, I'm supposed to be green. It's my friends that are sick. They've all turned blue. Looks like Rob and TK keep sneezing, and Orbit talks really funny. There, hello. Oh my, it looks like your friends have caught the blue space virus. It affects everybody differently, but lucky for you, it only affects robots. Will, will you need to take us apart to fix us? Oh, oh dear, no! What I do need to do is have you get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. Phew. Oh, phew. Here, this will help speed things up, oh, and it's fun! Oops. 
There! You see the blue virus you caught? A virus infects the inside of our bodies and can make you feel sick. Fortunately, a robot virus is easy to remedy. I can gobble it up using my robot antivirus program. Just remember, you still need to rest and drink plenty of liquids. We don't want you getting sick again. Phew! Thanks, Doc Doc. I feel much better. And you sound better too, Orbit. Thanks, Dr. Bot. Looks like that. Mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, TK was sick. She had caught a nasty space virus. So, we went to the Fix-It Planet to help TK feel better. TK forgot to sneeze into her sleeve and sneezed all over poor Orbit. Soon, he caught the virus too. We were finally about to head to the clinic when I caught the virus too. We were nervous to see the doctor, but she turned out to be really nice. We learned that doctors only want to make you feel better. And after our visit and a bit of rest, all of us feel great. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Fix It Planet. Problem. Ah! My moon boots! I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my moon boots. Oh, how could I have lost them? <gasps> hmm, don't ask me. I've even lost track of how many things I've lost. <gasps> Let's think, Emma. Huh? Where were you the last time you had them? Hmm, let's see. I wore them on the rainy planet, and then I had them on the mud planet. Wait, did I have them on the rainy planet? Or maybe it was the... Oh, I can't remember. But they're definitely not here. I've looked everywhere. How are we going to help you find them if we don't know where to look? Hmm. I've always wondered where lost things go. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Stops, nobody knows. Hey, do you think you lost your boots on the pillow planet, Emma? Um, I don't think so. What about the sticky candy planet? I I can't remember. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm? That looks like a good place to look for Emma's boots. Yes, the lost and found planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
the Lost and Found Planet. find his lost toy, I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! <laughs> lost boots! That way! <laughs> Let's go! Huh? PK, look! It's my coloring book I lost years ago! It's yours. Because look how nicely the pictures are colored. And I signed it. But Orbit, Rob and Emma went. I sure wish I had a tummy trunk like you do to carry this stuff in. <sighs> Here, we can use this box, Orbit. You can pretend it's your tummy trunk. finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? Nope. All I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're <clears throat> stuck. <gasps> what are we going to do? <sighs> oh, bitch! TK! stayed back with Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I found Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. Sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I... I also don't know where we are. Huh? How do we get back to Rob and Emma? <sighs> I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. <sighs> Wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one and left a trail. Yes, we can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly. TK, I am a finding genius and you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit, I think. No use yelling, Rob. They can't hear us through all these boxes. But there must be some way we can let them know we're in here. My whistle! Look, TK, the rocket! My trail led us right back to where we started! But where are Rob and Emma? Huh? Shh! Listen! Huh? 
sounds like it's coming from... TK, is that you? <sighs> Rob, what are you doing in there? Where's Emma? In here. Uh -huh. The boxes fell on us. <gasps> Ever could find us a couple of lost bulldozers? Wait, maybe you can dig something out of your tummy trunk. That's it! Your tummy trunk? No, dig! Huh? Stand back for it! I'm going into overdrive! Oh! TK! show and share, no one has anything new. Then I think this means we all have something new. A new mission. <laughs> to find something new for each of us to show and share. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. for show and share. Okay then, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> How about tree planet? But we learned all about trees the last time we visited. We need to branch out and find new things to show and share. Ew, stinky 
Mickey Foot Planet? I don't think we want to go there. You're right, TK. We don't want to play show and smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I bet we find all kinds of interesting things there. Discovery Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. share was a radio, but it's actually a noisemaker. A very loud noisemaker. That was a great show and share, TK. But wait till I show you mine. My show and share is a pogo stick. To use it, you just get on and hop, hop, hop around. I'll show you. That's not hopping, Emma. That's spinning. It's making me dizzy. Yeah, but it looks like fun. a whirly stick than a pogo stick because it spins you round and round. Thanks for showing and sharing the whirly stick, Emma. It was fun. Okay, now it's my turn. Come on! <coughs> my show and share is this cool mini flying saucer. Cool. Awesome! And I think this button makes it really fly. <laughs> I've never heard of a rolling saucer. Me neither. 
but I think it wants us to chase it. Come on! you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we came to Discovery Planet to find new things for show and share. But we discovered that nothing we found was what we thought it was. TK's radio didn't play music like she thought. It made loud noises. And Emma's pogo stick was really a whirling stick. An orbit flying saucer was really a rolling saucer. Finally, we discovered that the rock I found wasn't just a rock. It also made awesome sounding space music. So we learned that things aren't always what they seem to be. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two. Sure, Orbit. Why don't we give it a try? Let's have a picnic on a beach. Yeah! 
that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Look, the baseball planet. That's a fun place to go. But not if you want to build a sandcastle. The claw planet would be a good place to find out what time it is. <laughs> but not to have a picnic. Now that looks like the place to go. Yeah. Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Orbit, but those coconuts are up pretty high. And you're not exactly built for climbing trees. I'm not gonna climb the tree. Huh? Then how will you get the coconut? I'm gonna use my head. Well, while you're outsmarting coconuts, Emma and I will find the best spot to set up the picnic. <laughs> Any spot is a good spot, as long as there are no ants. Yeah! TK works fast. She's building up a big appetite. Uh. Okay, coconuts, come down. Uh. Picking a coconut is harder than I thought. Uh huh. Okay, coconuts, if you don't want to come down, I'll knock you down. Ha! Huh? That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll go tell our fearless coconut hunter that lunch is almost ready. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick some of these yummy oranges. Okay. What are you making now, TK? A moat. It's a trench you fill with water, so the only way into the castle is over the drawbridge. Oh! Rockin' robots! That's awesome! <laughs> Okay, this time, you're coming down. Getting a coconut orbit? What do you mean? I already have one. See? Mm. No. Where? Right the. Huh? But it was there a second ago. It was right. Ants! Ants took my coconut! Sick! There are no ants here, Orbit. 
orbit. Uh, besides, ants are too small to carry a coconut. But ants are strong. And maybe these were really big ants. Then you would have seen them. So then what happened to it? My coconut didn't just walk off by itself. Mm, I don't know, Orbit. It's a mystery. A mystery I'm going to help you find the answer to. Oh, I didn't really want a coconut anyways. Hm. Wow! Can I have a couple of those oranges for my sandcastle? Sure. Thanks, Emma. We can eat these later. What? Where did they go? Huh? <gasps> what is going on? I'm going to name it Castle Orange. Huh? Where did I put that orange? Huh? <gasps> did I just see what I thought I saw? You're not going to believe this, but I picked some oranges and bananas, put them down, then they just disappeared. Oh, ants. I knew it was ants. Sneaky ninja ants. First they took my coconut, now I'm as oranges. You're not going to believe this, but I got some oranges from Emma, put them down, then they just disappeared? disappeared? No. They floated off huh? all by themselves. Invisible ants. I don't think it was ants. I think it was a ghost. <gasps> My sandcastle is haunted. <gasps> I don't know what took your coconut or your fruit, but I'm sure it was an invisible ant or a ghost. Then what was it? There's one way to find out. We have to catch it. But we need something to catch it with. We can use my castle. Mm -hmm. We'll need something to lure the ants, or whatever it is, hmm. inside TK's castle. And I don't have any more coconuts. I'm all out of fruit. Ooh, maybe I can help. I was saving this for us to share for dessert. Yum! Maybe it took the fruit. It's big enough and fast enough. But not invisible enough. That's why no one saw it. That space lizard can change its color to blend in with the background. It's called camouflage. Camouflage or not, he's got the bait. Now, TK, before he gets away. <laughs> I'm glad you like coconuts too, Lizard. It's always fun to share a beach party picnic with a new friend. <laughs> I'd say it was a perfect picnic. And that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we decided to go to the beach planet to have a picnic. But the food we gathered mysteriously disappeared. Orbit thought ants took it, and TK thought it was a ghost. But ants are too small, and there are no such things as ghosts. It turned out to be a space lizard that could camouflage itself by changing colors. So we learned that we shouldn't jump to conclusions, and that we should gather the facts instead. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two. Shh.
plane. I'm supersonic jet pilot Emma. I love airplanes. Oh, wow. Me too. Yeah. Japanese art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. For airplane. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. A rectangle has two sides longer than the other sides. Hmm, mine is square. All the sides are the same length. Uh, I'm sure it'll still work. Wait, Emma, I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you done. <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> oh. This origami stuff. 
Jeff doesn't work at all. Ta da! Cool! <gasps> How come mine didn't look like that? Just give it another try. Orbit, can you show us again, please? Okay. First, fold your paper in half. Hmm. <laughs> Make sure you line up the edges perfectly. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Origami is too hard. It is hard, Emma. You need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Mayo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Mayo, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? Spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect. Thanks, TK. I'm done. <gasps> I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Yet, I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> and now that I know how, I can make a paper airplane Well done, everyone.
everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. <laughs> oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK. But I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur. But I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. OK, then. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Oh, 
tall as the rocket. Orbit, you should take a picture. Orbit? Picture of what? <laughs> Orbit, we can have fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapults! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. <laughs> Rob, you're back. 
So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums. So that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, doggy! Goodbye, Museum Planet! Emma? <laughs> yeah. I'm always hungry after my morning exercises. What'll it be? Toast and jam? Oatmeal? Or my famous scrambled space eggs? Ooh, scrambled space eggs, please. Hmm. Uh, I hate to break this to everyone, but I was just in the kitchen. We're out of eggs. No eggs? Really? Ooh, maybe we can get some more. I like that idea. So does my tummy. Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some eggs so we can make breakfast. Rob's famous scrambled space eggs breakfast. That sounds like an excellent mission. Let's see where you can go. Hey, it's the math planet. I like to count, but it doesn't add up to a solution to our problem. We won't find any eggs there. The camping planet. Not really the place to find eggs, either. <sighs> the farm planet. I bet we can find eggs there. Farm fresh eggs. Yes, the farm planet. An egg choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> Chickens. So where there are chickens, there are sure to be eggs. Hmm. Hey ho! Uh -huh. I'm Farmer Fred, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Rob, and these are my friends, TK, Orbit, and Emma. 
Hey there. Hello. Hi. Mighty nice to meet y'all. What brings you to my farm planet? We're on a mission to find farm fresh eggs. Well, you've come to the right place. Only I haven't had time to do the morning egg collecting yet. Hmm. I've been so busy fixing this old tractor, I haven't had a chance to do my other chores. You see, if you folks help me by collecting the eggs, I'll give you as many as you need. How does that sound? Yeah! yeah! That sounds like a great deal, Farmer Fred. You've all done farm work before, right? No, but it's okay. I bet we'll be done before you know it. Won't we, guys? Right, yeah! yeah. I should warn you. Sometimes a simple-sounding job can be tough if you haven't done it before. So, if you need help... We can do it! Okay, then. The eggs are in that chicken coop. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they'll be back. Look out, eggs. Here come the great egg collector. <gasps> oh, no! The chickens escaped. I better go get help from Farmer Fred. But we let them escape, so we should get them back again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go round up those chickens. the chickens, and Orbit and I will get this fence fixed. Hmm. You know, huh? I might be better at fence fixing than chicken catching. Let's see if I've got something in my tummy trunk that can help. Um, TK, don't move. I don't think he likes the color red, TK. And you're red all over. Uh-oh. Ah! No, come back. Come back. <gasps> she didn't really mean it. Grumpy, you just need to know how to talk to him. <laughs> Hello. 
looks like you could use a little help. Maybe more than a little. Yeah. Turns out farm work is harder than we thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help when you need it. Like, I sure could use some help fixing that old tractor. <gasps> TK at your service. the eggs farmer Fred <laughs> my pleasure I couldn't have fixed my tractor without asking you for help I'm much obliged mission accomplished mission control hi Rob you're back so what did you learn on your mission Farmer Fred. While he was busy working on his tractor, he agreed to let us collect some eggs. Only the chickens got loose, and then we broke a fence. And then we got chased by a robo bull. But we also learned that it's okay to ask for help and to accept it when someone offers it. Farmer Fred helped us, and we helped him. Well done. What an egg-sighting mission. As soon as we're back in space, you can cook up some of those farm fresh eggs. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Farmer Fred. to the space fair. Tiki's got the tickets. I sure do, Rob. Four tickets. One, two, three, four. Whee! I can't wait. All those space games and rides. Rock and robots. Me too, Emma. Wait, where are Orbit and Squeak? Right here. <gasps> what happened to Squeak? <laughs> I guess Squeak got a little dirty cleaning the rocket's landing gear. Oh, hmm. A little dirty? I'd say he got a lot dirty. We can't take Squeak to the space throw like this, can we? Mm-mm. 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 <sighs> we'll need to get him cleaned up, and then we'll go to the fair. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. can I help you today? We need to get Squeak clean so we can all go to the space fair. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Book Planet! Oh, I love reading. Me too. But reading isn't going to get Squeak clean. Circus Planet! <laughs> Think of all the clowns! Fun! But they'll be too busy clowning around to help Squeak. The scrub a -dub planet. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, the scrub a -dub planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Scrubadub Planet. Everybody, Ooh. cool! A super sensor robot scrubber. It gets robots super clean. <laughs> now I'm dirty too. You're as dirty as Squeak. Looks like you're joining Squeak in the super sensor. Huh? Get clean. <laughs> so do you. 
Parts back, but now we all need a bath. And I'm still stuck. I'll fix that. I'll have that super sensor robot scrubber fixed in a jiff. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Ta da! I'm clean as a whistle. All set to go to the we're not. And it's too late now anyway. Sorry for everyone missing out because of me. Don't be sorry, Emma. Getting clean was even more fun than going to the fair. This thing is awesome. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Scrubadil planet so Orbit could get clean. We learned it's best not to rush things because we broke the super sensor machine trying to make it go faster. But Emma and I had fun finding the missing parts. And TK had fun fixing the machine. And we all had fun getting clean again. We learned that just doing the things we like to do can be just as much fun as going to a fair. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Sounds like a super mission. 
Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, the tree planet. That looks like fun. Hmm. Yeah, but we don't want to build a tree house. Mm. The cheese planet. That's Squeak's favorite. <laughs> True. But if we make him a house of cheese, Squeak might eat it. Mm. The craft planet. That's perfect. <laughs> yes, the craft planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak's an expert at finding things. Huh? This way, he won't see it and ruin the surprise. Uh. Good thinking. Okay, let's get started. Hmm. I think we should make Squeak's house long and wide, like a big block of cheese. I was thinking it could be tall and shiny, like a tower. Oh, I like that idea. A tower? I thought we'd make it more fun, with lots of colors. Yes, something fancy. Tall and shiny sound better to me. Me too. Okay then, here's what we'll do. TK and I will make a mouse house, and Orbit and Emma can make one too. And then we'll see which one Squeak likes better. You're, You're on. on. Well, at least that's one thing we can all agree on. <laughs> So how tall should we make it? Really tall. Yeah. Hmm. We can stack these boxes on top of each other. We're going to make the tallest, coolest mouse house ever. You got it. I think we could build a really fun mouse house with these craft sticks. Hmm. But why live in a house when you can live in a palace? That's it. We'll make our mouse palace even bigger and more colorful than their mouse tower. <laughs> huh? They're making a palace. A mouse palace? Well, we're making a mouse tower. And it's going to be the best mouse house because we'll make it even taller. Time to get rocking, TK. window for Squeak to see out of. I bet Orbit and Emma didn't think to add one of those. Mm. Uh. 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 Ours is definitely tall. 
taller. <laughs> but ours is much fancier. Ours has two flags. But ours has lots of colors. Well, we'll just have to let Squeak decide which mouse house is best. Although, I think I know which one he'll choose. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. Huh? Let's move it into the rocket. I can't wait to show him. Uh-oh, it won't fit through the doorway. It's too tall. Aw, oh, that's too bad. I guess now he'll have to pick between ours and <laughs> ours. Come on, Emma. Let's go show Squeak his new mouse house. Uh, oh, 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 no, be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. I don't think we should move it. It's too delicate. Hmm. I can't believe we made our mouse house too tall. And I can't believe we made ours too fragile. What were we thinking? We turned it into a contest. Mm. I guess we got carried away trying to outdo each other. And we forgot all about Squeak. Mm. So now he doesn't have a mouse house at all. <gasps> Shh! Hear that? Sleep in Rob's mouse house. I told you he's an expert at finding things. I think he likes the house you made for him, Rob. I guess he doesn't need a tower or a palace. Just a nice, cozy place to curl up in. I'd say it's mission accomplished. <laughs> or maybe just a small mission accomplished. But sometimes small is best. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the craft planet to make a big, fancy, fun mouse house for Squeak. But we couldn't agree on what kind of mouse house to make. So we split into teams. Only we got really carried away. One was far too delicate, and the other was far too tall. We learned that we should have worked together as a team instead of turning it into a contest and trying to beat each other. But the good thing is, Squeak really liked the small mouse house that I made for him. He sure does. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Craft Planet. Just in time. Today is Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right! And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. 
And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh no, that would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theatre planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk! Of course! I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, shiver me timbers and a great big arm! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye patch you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit! Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dopes! There's at least a hundred space trolls out there! But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit! Quick! Saddle up your horse. My horse? Huh? Wait a minute. No one's capturing me. I'm going to have a concert. Those troll dudes are here for my show. Yow! Just ask Emma. She's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm Jungle Explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor, helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> poor rock. 
Rock Star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if Jungle Explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm the space sheriff. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. You're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. <laughs> no, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. Go! Isn't this imagination day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on a play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Me too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. Treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, no! Yikes. Oh. Space trolls! They found us! Oh, no! <gasps> we must protect the statue! A vast rock star orbit! Yes! Later, dudes! Everyone, hot tail it for the hills! Space your probably keep them busy while you folks escape. Eat pillow, space trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, space your Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Count me in, baby. Play, where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all together. Yeah! So I'd say it's... Missing a Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the theater planet to put on a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters, we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, we should always think about our friends too. We learned that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, 